Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to my latest food review here. Uh, this time we've got a new product from Feasters. Uh, Feasters are exclusive to Asda. Uh, this is the premium pulled pork sandwich. Uh, so this is brand new. Um, I think it's only been out a few weeks now. So I go to Asda sort of weekly or every other week. I've not seen it before. Uh, I've just, you know, just saw it at my you know, uh, latest shop. Um, the whole pull pork thing is everywhere at the moment. All the fast food people are doing it. Um, I believe Subway now are now doing pulled pork. Um, it's all in the supermarkets and everywhere you go. Um, a few few weeks ago, for my last video, I reviewed the uh, the pulled pork pizza, and uh, that was absolutely outstanding. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is going to be similar. Um, this was uh, this is in our four or five pounds range, or so one pound twenty five, or you can get it on its own um, for one pound fifty. So you know, I, we, I got four. I, did, I didn't get four of these um, because a lot of you got the burgers and you got the um, you know paninis and stuff are in there as well. So it's not a bad deal, you know. It does you for sort of work lunches and that for a week, and sort of snacks at lunch you know, for the weekends and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I've only seen one review of this on YouTube and he absolutely slated it. He said it was awful. So I don't know what to think really. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to trying it though just to see um, you know, see what it's like really. Uh, yeah, see if the box is like the Feasters stuff now. They all say premium across there as well. All the ra all the range, the, uh, the burgers, the uh, chicken burgers, they all got this whole premium thing on there now. I, I don't know if they've changed... The burgers or not, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I've not not, not um, tried those yet. Um, but yeah, but they've got the whole thing going on there now. So this is, this is the box. Uh, you've got your bun in there, and you've got your pulled pork in there, and you've got your barbecue sauce. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is pause it, and I'm going to take every, all the bits out and um, give you a bit of a closer look. Welcome back. Uh, so this is what you get inside the pack. Um, this is apparently is a maize topped bun, so it's sort of sort of lightly dusted uh, there. And it's looking not, not too bad on the top bun. The bottom bun, as always, these things is get it's a little bit soggy, but I put I put that in the toaster, so that will sort that out hopefully. Uh, this is your pulled pork um, in this sort of um, heat sealed pack, which looks quite watery. You can see there, it looks like you know, there's a fair, a fair amount in there for what's going to be going into the roll. And uh, this is the barbecue sauce. So you got a, so again, it's not a bad size, bad sachet of barbecue sauce there. Um, let's just have a look at the quick, the cooking instruction. Well, this is 159 grams, so about average. Uh, well, camera won't focus at all there, but I know um, you, you, you heat the pulled pork on its own. Uh, for about a minute, you let it stand for 30 seconds and then put it in for another minute. Well, it says with the bun, uh, but I'm gonna uh, toast the bun. So, anyway, I'm gonna come back and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all cooked up. Welcome back. Um, I've just cooked this uh, Feasters barbecue pulled pork roll um, up in the microwave. As you can see here, um, I've toasted the bun, so hopefully, that will sort the bun out. The bun actually does feel quite nice. Quite nice and fresh and there you go there's your pulled pork uh, and the barbecue sauce on on top which you don't heat you just you just chuck that on on the end um, so uh, yeah um, one thing I would say uh, the pulled pork comes in the, this like, sealed pack separately it doesn't say on the back to pierce the, the bag at all or open the bag or anything put it in the microwave after about 30 seconds an almighty bang and there's uh, yeah the bag it comes in and split and it's made a little bit of a mess in the microwave, so I don't know. Maybe I'd maybe recommend piercing some holes in there. Um, so uh, I'm, you know, getting the sort of smell of the pulled pork in, in the kitchen here at the moment. So in the bun, so it does feel quite good. Um, and there's a bit of a side view there. Um, not a bad amount of pulled pork. They're pretty much filling the whole bun. Uh, you won't want a bigger bun than that because say uh, you'd just be biting into this bun. Uh, anyway, so um, I'm going to pause you again, and uh, when I come back, I'll tell you if it's any good. Uh, welcome back. Um, I've just taken um, a few bites of this sandwich, as you can see there. Just give you a bit of, bit of a view there. 
Uh, my thoughts on this sandwich. Um, I really like the bun. I wish they would use the bun for some some other products, you know, the burgers, because the bun is really good, um, especially when you put it in the um, toaster. It does come out really well. I like the sort of the sort of soft top into it as well. Um, that's that's really really good. Um, the barbecue pulled pork itself, um, I wasn't getting any sort of fatty, gristly bits or anything like that. It wasn't too chewy. It was it was quite a nice pork. Um, there's, there's there's not a massive amount of flavour coming from that though. Um, Definitely you're getting more flavour from the barbecue pulled pork pizza I did um, one or two weeks ago now. Um, say the same, the, the, you know, the uh, barbecue sauce is, is quite thick when you're getting out of the pack and there's, there's not a sort of massive amount of flavour coming from it. Um, but saying that, I, it, it's, it's still fairly tasty. Um, I don't think um, I would be like rushing out to like, buy it again. Uh, one fifty. Is, is 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 not it's it's all right, but I I think com compared to the the Iceland version, um, I mean Iceland do uh, the pulled pork sub roll, uh, and that's eighty nine p, and I think that is better than this, and and also that's a frozen product as well. Um, it's a little bit easier to prepare, a little bit like uh, messy as well, because it's quite messy getting all the pulled pork out the packet and things like messing around like that, and sort of you know trying to spread it over the bun and stuff like that. Um, but it, it, it's yeah. It, it, I think it is what it is. You got to try it. Um, you, if you try it, you're not going to be blown away by it. Um, so I'd, I'd probably say out of five, I'd probably give that maybe a three. And at one pound fifty or one twenty five on the deal, yeah, about three. If it was a, if it was a, if it's a pound, you know, you could sort of see it's it's not too big either. It's only what was it one hundred and fifty six grams. Um, so yeah, so it, it's not the biggest thing. I mean, for the same price, you can get yourself like a double stack burger in Asda, and that's over. I think that's over two hundred grams. So you know, the whole bar, the barbecue pulled pork fr um, you know, craze rolls on, and um, uh, that, that's feasters' effort anyway. And uh, so that's my video review of the feasters barbecue pulled pork sandwich and uh, giving that a 3 out of 5 star rating and I'll see you later